Hello guys. Our topic today is about transportation costs. So, we discuss natin yung apat na terms: FOB destination versus FOB shipping point, freight prepaid versus freight collect. So, when merchandise is shipped by a common carrier, okay, example ng common carrier is a tracking entity, or it can be an airline, or minsan a shipping line. So, the carrier prepares a freight bill in accordance with the instruction of the party making the shipping arrangements. So, the freight bill designates which party shoulders the cost. Sino daw ba dapat ang shoulder? Si seller daw ba o si buyer? So, dito meron tayong dalawang freight terms, ang FOB destination at FOB shipping point. The freight bill also designates whether the shipment is freight prepaid or freight collect. So, makikita nyo dyan, there are four terms. FOB destination and FOB shipping point, then freight prepaid and freight collect. So, pag-aaralan natin itong apat na terms. So, FOB shipping point versus FOB destination. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng FOB? FOB is an abbreviation for free on board. So, may dalawa tayong freight terms, yung FOB shipping point and FOB destination. Ito talaga yung kanilang usapan between the buyer and the seller. So, ano yung FOB shipping point? In FOB shipping point, the buyer shoulders the shipping costs. O, take note ha, si buyer ang nagsishoulder ng shipping cost. At dahil si buyer ang nagsishoulder ng shipping cost, si buyer ay dapat magdebit ng freight in or transportation in. So, saan natin makikita si freight in or transportation in sa ating income statement? Makikita natin siya sa cost of sales section. Dinadagdag natin ito sa net purchases to arrive at the net cost of purchases. Kasi ang effect ni freight in or transportation in is dinadagdagan niya ang ating cost of sales. Uh, under FOB shipping point pa rin, ownership of the goods passes from seller to the buyer when the inventory leaves the seller's place of business or ito yung tinatawag dating shipping point. So, yung ownership ng goods, malilipat lamang siya from seller to buyer kapag ang inventory ay nakaalis na sa place ni seller. Kaya nga, while the goods are still in transit, the buyer already owns the goods. So, sa FOB shipping point, habang binabiyahe, yun ang ibig sabihin ng in transit, ang pag-aari ng goods ay nailipat na kay buyer. Paano naman sa FOB destination? In all FOB destination, the seller bears the shipping cost. Kasi seller ang dapat mag-shoulder ng shipping cost. At dahil siya ang dapat mag-shoulder, dapat mag-debit siya ng freight out or transportation out. So, saan natin makikita si freight out or transportation out sa ating income statement? Makikita natin siya sa operating expenses section. So, in FOB destination, the title passes only when the goods are received by the buyer at the point of destination. So, malilipat lamang ang ownership kapag nakarating na kay buyer ang mga goods. So, habang binabiyahe or while in transit, the seller is still the owner of the goods. So, i-illustrate natin siya. Dito makikita natin kapag FOB shipping point o sinong dapat magbayad ng freight cost? Si buyer. Kapag FOB destination? Si seller. Sino naman ang may-ari? From this illustration, makikita natin that in FOB shipping point, ownership pa sa student buyer kailan? at the point of shipment habang inaalis sa place of business ni seller. In FOB destination naman, ownership passes to buyer kailan kapang nakarating na sa place ni buyer. Punta tayo sa freight prepaid versus freight collect. Ano tong mga to? Kasi ang iba na lilito dito. So, both, both refer to freight payment. Ito yung Sino ba nagbayad? So, specifically, the terms refer to who is paying for the freight shipping. Si seller ba or si buyer? So, pag freight prepaid, ang ibig sabihin nito, si seller 
pays the transportation cost before shipping the goods sold. So, pag freight prepaid ang nagbayad ay si seller. Kapag freight collect, the freight entity collects from the buyer. So, therefore, kapag freight collect ang nagbayad ay si buyer. So, ang tanong dito, alin ba ang masusunod? Freight prepaid or freight collect or FOB destination, FOB shipping point? Ang dapat masunod is ano ba ang kanilang usapan? At ang usapan is either ano lang, freight, uh, FOB destination or FOB shipping point. So, paano ganyan na nagka-ano siya, nag-conflict siya, kunwari, freight prepaid, tapos biglang uh, freight prepaid siya, pero ang usapan nila is FOB destination, uh, match pala yun. What if ang kanilang usapan ay FOB shipping point, ang dapat sumagot ay si buyer, pero ang nangyari ay freight prepaid si seller ang nagbayad. So, mag-uusap si seller at si buyer, i-arrange nila yon. So, tatandaan, payment by either party will not dictate who should ultimately shoulder the cost. So, ang masusunod is ang kanilang usapan. FOB destination ba? Si seller dapat magbayad. FOB uh, shipping point pa? Si buyer ang dapat magbayad. So, we have here the various freight terms. So, sa first column, makikita natin, freight terms, second column, who shoulders the transportation cost? And the third column, who pays the shipper? FOP destination, freight prepaid, who shoulders the transportation cost? Si seller. Sino nagbayad? Si seller. O match sila. So, walang problema. FOP shipping point, freight collect. Sino dapat mag-shoulder? Si buyer. Sino nagbayad? Si buyer. So, walang problema. In FOP destination, freight collect. So, ang dapat mag-shoulder, si seller. Pero, ang nagbayad ay si buyer. So, anong gagawin ni, ano, ni buyer? Kasi, ang dapat na magbayad ay si seller. So, ang gagawin ni buyer is that si sisingilin niya si seller. Then, in FOB shipping point, freight prepaid, ah, ang dapat mag-shoulder ng transportation ay si buyer. Pero, sino ang nagbayad? si seller. So, anong gagawin ni seller? Kasi ang dapat magbayad ay si buyer. So, sisingilin ni seller si buyer. So, for example, ng mga transactions tungkol dito sa various freight terms sa next video, yun ang gagawin ko para makita ninyo kung paano gumawa ng journal entries. So, again, thank you for uh, watching this video. Sana nakatulong ito para mas maunawaan ninyo ang apat na different terms. Thank you and uh, good luck sa pag-aaral.